Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to share with you today my personal experience with the Tesla Solar Rental Program, also known as the Tesla Solar Subscription Program. Now, I've rented this, I've had it installed on a couple of houses and it has been great. And I wanna share with you my real world experience having it installed and why I think it is, if it's not the best deal out there, it's one of the top ones. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about the top three reasons why if you live in one of their service areas, you should definitely consider getting the Tesla Solar subscription. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions or comments about the Tesla Solar Rental Program, please leave them below and I will do my best to respond to all of them. Whopper. Whopper. Fries. Fries. Soda. Soda. 10 bucks. Someone's gonna get fired. That Burger King commercial pretty accurately describes how I felt the first time we energized our first Tesla solar rental subscription. I was absolutely floored at the value for the subscription price that we were getting from the solar install to the inverter. And they even installed a sub panel because there wasn't enough room in the main panel and there was no extra cost. It was just the monthly subscription fee. So, it, and then when we started to look into the, what we were actually saving per month, it was just icing on the cake. So anyways, the first reason why I think the Tesla solar rental subscription is such a great deal has to do with something called ROI, return on investment. Now there's this webpage that I'm on, it's Energy Saved, which is a great place to do research on solar panels. And they talk about how to calculate the ROI on your solar panels. And typically on average, it takes about eight years. And what that means is it takes about eight years of savings on your electric bill before those savings cover the cost of your solar install. Well, that's great and all, but the ROI on the Tesla solar rental is immediate. It's the very first month. It, it's, it's really amazing. And on the first install that we subscribed to in January, we saved $110 off of our power bill. And if you do the math, minus the $65 subscription fee, that's $45 extra dollars in our pocket. Uh, that's just totally awesome. Now that's not gonna be everyone's experience. We also have another subscription on another house. And in January, this one only made, generated about $80 worth of power. And minus the $65, that's only $15 in your pocket. But again, that's, you know, basically free money. And that's also in January, which there isn't as much sun in January as there is like in the summer. So we expect those, the amount of savings to go up as the days get longer. And okay, so, you know, you might be thinking, well, you know what, leases, long, you know, long-term leases and PPAs, which are called power purchase agreements, you know, those can be cash flow right away too. And while that is true, the reason why I'm not a huge fan of those is because you're locked into a long-term commitment. And with this Tesla Solar, it's just month to month. So this brings me into my second point. The Tesla Solar rental subscription, there's no long-term commitment. It's month to month. And you know, I, I think when it first came out, there was some documentation that said that there would be a $1,500 fee to remove the system if you didn't want it. And I've seen some videos, other YouTube videos that say that too, but I'm here to tell you, Tesla has since done away with that $1,500 fee. So basically as it stands now, if you're unhappy with the install for any reason, they will remove it for free. And let me just show you the verbiage from the most recent contract that we signed. Seven, system removal. If the system needs to be removed for any reason, such as your cancellation, or for even like roof repairs, you agree to give Tesla reasonable access to your home to remove the system at Tesla's convenience and availability. Okay, makes sense. Here's the kicker. Tesla will remove the system at no cost to you. I mean, that's amazing if you think about it. Like you're only paying the subscription monthly fee and if you don't want it for any reason, you move away, you, you wanna do something else or whatever, they'll take it away for free. I mean, that's really crazy. Oh, it's really awesome actually. 
I have a buddy that they bought a solar system. They, they purchased with a loan. I think it was about six or seven years ago. And they're still paying it off. They're pretty happy with it. It's a nice quality system. But they were talking to me about, you know, maybe adding a power wall and doing some other stuff with it. And when they looked into it, they found that they might have to replace their inverter and all that. So the onus is on them. Like if you buy a system and you want to upgrade it in a few years, you're out that money. I mean, you might be able to resell it and recoup some money. But with the Tesla rental, if you want to switch it out in a few years, there's no, there's no cost to you to have it removed. And if you think about how fast technology is moving, let's say in five years, there's a breakthrough in the photovoltaic panels where they can become more efficient or something with an inverter or battery technology or whatever, and you need to switch out your system. If you're in a lease or a long-term commitment or a loan or whatever, it's harder to get out of that. With this Tesla solar rental subscription, you can very easily get out. And that's the you know, a totally awesome reason. The third reason is that Tesla won't actually sell you the system unless it's a good fit. Now we tried to get the Tesla solar rental subscription on this house and there were some shading issues. There was a hill behind it and it really wasn't the ideal situation for solar. And they even went through the whole process of creating, drafting a plan and sending it to us. And what they said was, and I talked to the guy. So the estimated annual production was only going to be about 4,300 kilowatt hours. And they said that it really needed to be up around 4,800 to qualify for the solar rental, the solar rental program, which, you know, makes sense because if you're not happy with the system, they're going to have to take it away for free and it's just going to cost them more money. So they want to make sure that you're making money off this. And that is the real kicker. Like, and why I think you should check it out. Because if it's really not a good fit for you, they're going to tell you because they're taking on all the risk. All right, guys. So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to subscribe to the service. Now, first, you got to make sure you're in a service area. And you can do that by going to this web page. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description. But basically, you scroll down and you'll see what states and what utilities qualify for it. And, you know, unfortunately there aren't that many yet, but it sounds like they're trying to add more. So anyways, if you have seen this video and you think you want to check it out more, I'm going to leave a link to my referral. And I mean, feel free to use one of your friend's referrals too, but make sure that you start out doing it because it, we have found that it is a little bit of a pain to order it and then go back later and try to get a referral. But basically, if you are going to use my referral or someone else's referral, you go to the referral page and, oh, right now it's a $250 credit that you get upon activation if you end up doing the subscription or buying solar from them. So you would click order yours and you're taken to a page and there'll be a little pop-up that says $250 award. Lawrence's referral code gives you $250 award after system activation. So click order now. What, what that basically means is that you're going to get $250, which could potentially pay for several months of a Tesla solar rental subscription. I mean, it's just even more icing on the cake. So anyways, on their Tesla order, the solar ordering page, make sure to click on subscribe and you got to select what state you're in. And you can pick small, medium, or large. There's some details on how to pick, but we've always actually just purchased the small, subscribe to the small, and it's worked out great. And there is a $65 refundable deposit. It like on the one that didn't work out, we got that money back right away. And you just basically enter your name and, and details and place order. And so the times we've done it, they've gotten back to us very quickly within like a day or two. And within like a week or two, they're already out surveying our, our house. And it just, it seemed like a really efficient, high quality operation. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can use this to help maybe think, consider getting solar for your house and, you know, making a cleaner, more sustainable future for everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.